Hello and welcome. Let's see how we can read data from database. As you know, in the previous video, we saved all those uh, data in the database. Now we want to read this. For this one, we need uh, another page to list all the books we have in our database. So let's create the page. First of all, I will add a menu beside the new books, which is in the view directory. You go to the layout, then in the app. As you can see, I will close the sidebar so that we can see better I will just duplicate this line of code and I'll say we have new books and we must have a directory to the books that they list all the books and the URL is going to be book like this one it is going to display all the books for us for now if I refresh we have our link here okay but as you know it will give us a very ugly thing like that because it should uh, be another li here so i will write another li and i will move this one up here this time if i refresh now it's fine if you click on the books it will open the uh, open the the book directory which we have nothing for now as you know if you request this page it will automatically call our controller if i go to the book controller it will call the index for now we just return a view for this one we say go to the book folder in the view directory and open the index.blade.php file from here for now i will just close this one let's see uh, about that file and if you go to the that file book index.blade.php it is going to be this file this time if i refresh it now it will display everything here for now i will come here and say we have container I think we have we don't have container here yes we don't have container so we put the container here inside this one we create a table inside the table we will read all the data you know how you can send data to this URL using the compact function you can pass a variable for example books a plural now we must have the books so let's create the variable here books is going to be book all this is very simple when we say book we mean that go to the model where is our model it is inside app here inside the app we have book all means take everything from database now how it is going to work it is going to uh, see we have our book here and we have the books the table name as you know the table name is book you can write the table name of course here as a protected variable as you can see table like this Pro protected table and give it the name here books if it is different if it is book uh, the plural form of book you don't need to put that level will automatically understand what is the table name if you write book if you write book for now it will not work because uh, you do not you have not imported and that at the top you should reference it like this so if you don't want to reference it every time like this one just remove it and import it at the top let's say use app slash book now we can use book like this one you don't need to write the prefix to the app directory like this we have all the books and it will send that to this url for now if i refresh we have all the books all we need is to display them here for this one inside the index we create a table so i will just open the table give it a table class inside this one we have t body i will just create that uh, and i'll pause the video for this one then i will um, uh, show you how you can uh, just write them on the loop and how you can display them as you can see we have a very simple uh, table heading for the name description and the number we will put a number for this one and we will put the, the loop here loop should uh, loop all the rows here because we display the rows so i will just write the for each loop here for each what was our variable name books as let's say book now you can use the book as instance and display them here so let me end for each here so that you can continue on like this now you can just output them here if you write 
inside the colibris as you know uh, with uh, with blade syntax you can write book hyphen name using object oriented style name refer to the field in the database description created at everything will be displayed here if i refresh the page as you can see we see all names here because the first data will be displayed in the first the mm, the first column here so we must have another one here for td let's say for example now we just write one and we will see how you can use the uh, helpers in laravel to display a sequence of number here for now you can you can write td for the next one and here let's output the description save it refresh the page as you can see here is the description and you can put the created date of course here if you write another th of date when you have published the date you can come here and say another table data and it should display the book created at for now we display the date like this later we will learn how you can display it in different formats that is how you are going to learn how about this one you can use the helpers uh, helpers in Laravel are very important you should know most of them because because these are made to make your life easy if you go to the Laravel documentation uh, you will search for the loop helpers here you have your loop helpers and you have a uh, the structure of the loop and there are some helpers if I search for the loop helpers or only helpers here are the helpers you can come here read all about the helpers these are the functions here and you can uh, learn about them here but what I'm going to use here it is very uh, very simple just write loop here here is the helper name and then iterate if you loop iterate and refresh the page it will just okay we should output this one we forget to put if I refresh it okay I think this is iteration I refresh the page now you can see the numbers here it will iterate the number based on as many time uh, uh, row or column you or number you have here of course you can just write the ID here but sometimes if I, you delete this one then you don't have the ID of two if you delete the three you don't have the ID of three that way it will display broken like that but if you are using the loop iteration inside any loop it will automatically uh, iterate the number and it will put one by one like that so i hope it has been informative in the next video we will continue our discussion on how you can dis, uh, work on the view how you can display one of them in one page